Hello there, my lovelies. Today I'm going to be making some paper and card gems for you. So I've got a couple of examples here. So this one is made out of paper. And this one is made out of metallic card. So this is a fun paper folding project and I found this in a magazine. It's called Molly Makes and inside it had a how to make paper gems kit. Now I only know of this magazine being in the UK at the moment. I don't know whether it's published anywhere else. Um, however, if you can't find it in shops, um, they do have a website and I'll put it in the description box below. But in this little kit came this wooden template and it has little holes in it and score lines for where you need to fold. The kit also contained some of these pastel coloured papers. So I believe you could make 10 gems with the pack, but I wanted to try something a bit special. So I purchased some of this metallic shiny card because I figured if I'm making gems, then having something shiny would make them look more gem-like and it would give an interesting effect, I thought. So, you could probably see better if I just bring it towards the camera. Little flecks of light on it. I have it in four colours. Today I'm going to be using the blue and the green, but it gives really cool crystally gem feel. So I'm just going to pop that over there. If you'd like to follow along at home and make your own, you can download um, a template from the website so you don't have to buy the magazine to do this. Um, here's a paper template that I downloaded from the site. So it's a slightly different type of gem to the wooden one. But today I'm just going to use the wooden template. Apart from your template, you will need a cutting mat or a surface which you can cut out card on. You'll need a pencil, a ruler, some sticky tape, either clear or double sided. Um, I think double sided is best for this project. A craft knife or a pair of scissors. Either will do, it's up to you, personal preference and obviously your coloured card of your choice. So I'm just going to clear my desk and we can get started. I have here a couple of templates that I've cut out. So all I did for these was I turned my piece of card over 
placed my template onto it. I drew around the edge, just the outside edge, and then I cut it out. So if I just move this away, on this one you can see I've drawn my template lines and this is to give me a guide on where to score and fold. So I'm going to pop that to one side and I'm going to show you on one of my blue ones how I did that. So my template has a few little holes in it. And this will help me to line up my folds. So I'm just going to draw a little dot in each one. There we go. And this will give me my points to connect my lines. Okay. So it's quite simple, just takes a bit of practice. But looking at my template, I know that this line here needs to match up the two corners here. So I'm just going to do that. Normally I would freehand this part, but I'm going to use a ruler just to illustrate it. Okay. At the moment it looks a bit like a hedgehog. I'm just making sure that the lines match up with the straight line the outer edge. Okay, just line it up there. And because these are on the inside of the template, I don't have to worry too much about seeing the lines afterwards because we fold it inwards. Okay, just finish that off there. There we go. So these are my initial lines and from my template I can see that from my center point of each segment I have a line going to the bottom. So I'm going to line those up. Just do that. The next line we are missing is the little flaps. And at this point you can freehand this. It's just to illustrate where the little flaps are going to bend and they will help your template stick together. Okay. So I'm going to go back to the one I showed you before, which is all ready to go. Just pop that out of the way. Okay. Bring your ruler back in and we're going to use this to help score our lines. You 
can use um, your scissors at this point, however I'm going to use my ruler for this one. So I'm just going to try and grab the edge of my card and making sure I've got a firm press on my ruler. I'm just going to bend it like so. You might need to press it down quite firmly if it's card like I'm using. Okay. And you'll want to do this for each of your segments. Now I've bent all my lines, so you can see it's starting to naturally fold inwards to give me that 3D shape. So I have some double sided tape here ready and I've bent in the little sticky flaps. Now comes the slightly fiddly part, just popping it together. So I'm going to pop a little bit of tape on this side first, like so. And there will be a slight overlap, and that's perfectly fine. That's how it's meant to fit together. Okay, then press firmly. So we've got our point, now we just have to push our individual bits in and pop some tape on the little flaps. It's just going to do that. giving them a good firm press. Okay, grab some more tape. Try not to stick to myself. Okay. Press, Just squeeze them together. Okay. So from that side you can see it's starting to build up nicely. Just grab some more tape. Find my flap edge. Okay, I hope you can see this okay. Bend the flap in. Okay, so I'm just going to carry on round, just finish it off quickly. Okay, so there is my finished gem. I really like the effect the metallic card gives it. So you could string this up with your other gems and make a little garland. 
just bring my other ones back in. These are very cute and quite simple to make. So, I hope you've all enjoyed this video and I will see you guys again in my next one. Bye guys!